So when, once you get something like that, that's kind of just opened it up, right? I mean... It did. Yeah. I signed with a big agency. Oh, really? Which was super exciting. Got to... Well, how, did, how does that conversation go with your lady agent? So, you know, did it was... Did she respect it and understand or... Yes. That's great. It did feel like a breakup. You know, I went up there and did it in person. And, you know, she was, I think, disappointed, but she understood and knew she could only do so much. But what she did was amazing. Right, of course. I mean, my God, I'm still with them commercially. So we have, you know, nothing but a great relationship. But because I was open and honest about it, it made everything go super smooth. So, yeah, I signed with this big agency. Doors started opening. People actually want to, like, meet me and read me. And I'm auditioning for tons of stuff. And then um, fast forward, like, two years, and the agency drops me. Oh. And um, I feel like I'm back at the beginning. Back at the... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, it was like a CAA or something, I assume. I was with Gersh. Okay, Gersh. Yeah. And... They just call you and are like, you're not booking as much as we'd like or interesting? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I'd say it was two years almost to the day that I went with them. And I'd say like the first year and a half was awesome. And then things got quiet. But I only booked one feature with them. Sure. So, you know, if you're not booking big pilots and big parts then you're out yeah it's a, i didn't it, think two years was like that long it's not but you know they it was fine i mean i kind of had a feeling it was coming i also switched managers at that time okay and he's the one that set me up there so i kind of had a feeling like it was gonna just kind of be a clean clean break with everybody and that's exactly what happened. Well, when you say you you had to start over, I don't feel like you really had to start over from. No, you didn't have not to go from scratch. No, skip j- skip go. Don't collect yeah. two hundred dollars. You had to. You yeah, were still I mean, fine. You probably could still have a calling cards, obviously, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm right. I'm not starting. It feels that way, but yes, I have a resume, right? Which I did not have ten years ago, but. You know, Mad Men's been off the air for three years now, and people, you know, it's not new and exciting anymore. Right. And because nothing happened, like, super fast for me, like, I didn't book a TV show right away, and or I didn't book, like, a huge part in a movie, like, I feel like the momentum has dissipated. Sure. So, it's... Yeah, it's been it hasn't been easy yeah. for the last couple of years. I mean, I'm still working, but certainly not as much as I would have thought coming off of that show. How how do you get your mindset to cope with that? I wish I knew. I don't well, know. Well, you're obvi- you're obviously still getting through it and you're obviously yeah, working your way through yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't like, you know, quit even right. though I think about it like every other week. But Well, you just you may <laughs> I don't know if this is an accurate representation, but you're making it sound like you're currently in sort of a, a dark period, a rut. I wouldn't call it a dark period, but <laughs> you're in, a, you're in a lull. Peri- yes, a lull. You're in a lull. Definitely. And I oftentimes lull. ask about lulls and how mm-hmm. people get through them, and very rarely do I have somebody candidly tell me they're currently in a lull yeah, so i'm just curious what your mindset is currently that you're in a lull so or how you're dealing with it i'm in a lull because my computer it. broke and my car didn't start today <laughs> yeah. and what i'm doing is i'm trying to focus one thing at a time uh-huh. and handle i took my computer to the the nerds of geek squad i'm organizing when i'm gonna go get a new battery so i feel like that's probably and go back to your basics like Focus on your business. Focus on you. Get your website up to date. Get some yeah. headshots out there. Get to blah. So Definitely. I don't know. I'm just curious do what you're that. doing right now. So, I mean, the biggest thing I did was I made my own film. Smart. Yeah. Make your own content. Yeah. I have been hearing people. I mean, people have been telling me this for years. Make your own stuff. Make your own stuff. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to. I don't like writing. I, don't, I wouldn't even know like where to start. Like, ugh. But then when all of this was kind of going down last year and I had been dropped by Gersh and I just felt like people had forgotten about me, I was like, okay, I have to do something yeah. for myself. So I wrote a short film. I made it in January. It's 
almost done. We're in sound editing Ooh, right now. Exciting. And it's great. And I can't wait to share it with everyone. That's awesome. And it's based on my life right after I finished working on Mad Men. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's called After Meredith. And we're going to do a festival run. Hopefully it'll find, you know, a home somewhere at a fun festival. And what a perfect way to handle it, I think. Yeah. Make your own content. Do stuff. Don't just sit around and be sad. And, oh, yeah, this is the worst. Yeah, I mean, I have plenty of those days, but... But you, you, you can have those days. Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely. absolutely have those days. And you, you will. There's no way around it. Right. You just can't you let know? them paralyze you. Yeah. And you can't, woe is me forever. Mm-hmm. You got to... Get the day out of you and the next day do something. Yeah. And that's really inspiring. Mm-hmm. It's what I did. And I've already written something else. And, you know, we'll just kind of see see how it plays out. Well, part of the business side of it that you alluded to earlier, I think, is you are your biggest advocate. Mm-hmm. You're your biggest fan. So if you're making your own stuff, that's better no than anyone. Gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's going to write something that's more you than you are. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the best way to showcase who you are. Yeah.